Welcome to the European headquarters of JP Morgan Asset Management and to Interactive Investors' first ever Investment Fight Club. So I'm Moira O'Neill, I'm Head of Personal Finance at Interactive Investor. and I'm really thrilled to see so many of our customers at what promises to be a really insightful evening that's going to help you all in your fight for financial independence. So a bit about the, this amazing building that we're in. Um, it started life as the City of London School, with the first foundation stone being laid in 1880. JP Morgan moved in in 1991, and it undertook an extensive renovation project in 2010, and this magnificent great hall stretches across the full, full width of the building's first floor. And it, as you can see, if you look around, it's got the names and achievements of its former pupils adorning the walls. Um, now, for a little bit of housekeeping, um, to make this event interactive, we, and so that you can get to know what your fellow investors in the room are thinking tonight, um, we have some voting pads that you'll find on your um, seats. Um, so when you hear the prompt during the presentations, um, please select your option by pressing the selected button and the results will come up on the screen. And now I would like to welcome Richard Wilson, CEO of Interactive Investor, to the stage. Clicker. That's me. Um, good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, this is an extraordinary venue, and we're very excited about the proceedings. Um, part of uh, what I'd hope to do here with you today is get on with the main event, but uh, I was g given the impression that some of you would like to see a little bit about what Interactive is up to, where it's come from and where it's going. Um, so I'll spend a few minutes on that. Um, I'll try not to bore you too much. If I can just ask though before I, I do that so I know who I'm speaking to. Um, in the audience, who here are actually Interactive Investor customers? Can I see a, a show of hands? Thank you very much. Just for curiosity, who, who of the customers here have been with us for more than five years? More than 10 years? Okay, we've got work to do. And for those who didn't raise your hands at all, um, you know how to log on downstairs, and we expect you to sign up as soon as possible. That's the uh, sales pitch over. So what I'll do is a, a little bit about um, what we're aspiring to be, and then just go through the story about where we've come from, where we are now, and what we're we'll be doing next. So if we can just uh, roll, the, roll the video. This is...
right. No. Um, so that's um, what our um, aspiration is in terms of what we would like to provide you with. A few moments on our history, because as many of you know, we're not um, we're not brand new. We, in fact, we were founded nearly 25 years ago now, and originally we were an information service. And that DNA, that ability, or that intent to provide information to consumers to make informed choice, stays part of our core today. The journey. Um, had a slight interlude during the dot-com period where it um, got a bit of a famous period uh, uh, on NASDAQ. But after then, it was fairly quiet until 2011 when um, II became an execution-only broker. Um, and introduced in 2012 post-RDR, what at the time was um, a pretty radical proposition, which is a simple fee. Uh, that was brand new at the time. Um, and we've, we've stayed with the ethos of a simple, flat price for service ever since. So we don't have any interest in taking a slice of anybody's savings. We provide a service and we charge a fee. Since then, um, more recently, uh, we've gone through a process of growing up and scaling. And you've probably seen, and so some of you I'm sure will have been customers of previous antecedent companies where we've, we acquired um, TD Direct um, in 2007 and more recently acquired Alliance Trust Savings, which subject to regulatory approval, we'd expect to close this June. Um, in the meantime, via the TD transaction, we did acquire a European bank, um, which uh, we sold in August and we expect that to close um, before the end of March. So that's the kind of industrial process. That takes us today to being an enterprise which has roughly 27, 27 and a half billion of assets, which is about 12 and a half percent of the market, um, about 16 percent of, of equity trading in the UK, um, and something around 400,000 customers or half a million accounts. Why does that matter? The economics of a platform are, are quite simple. We provide information to customers so they can make their choice. We execute trades on their behalf, and we custody the assets. For that, we charge a fee. That translates into economics where there are very high quality of earnings. We expect the relationship with customers, as we've seen here, to be between five and 25 years. And it's also, um, partly because of the necessary investment in technology, it's a scale business. And as a scale business with high fixed costs, if you don't have sufficient scale, you can't generate the, the returns to invest. So despite the fact that we are what we believe the best value um, platform in the country, uh, we currently produce something like, I don't know the technical accounting terms, 30% EBITDA margin, which today is around 20 million pounds a year of, of profit. That's crucial as we invest for the future, and I'll talk about that um, in a few seconds. So where are we today? First of all, um, we're, we could do everything better. I think the first thing for us as a consumer business is to, to, to be humble. Um, we have lots to learn every day, and we have lots to listen to and to improve on. We are, at our heart, a service business, and anyone who forgets that loses their way. We exist because of our customers, and it's only because we serve you in the right way that we can be successful. That's part of our, our DNA and part of our purpose, and that will not leave. Where we stand today, um, in terms of how we think that we differentiate in the marketplace, in terms of choice, today we have we support something like half a million instruments um, on the platform. Um, which is over twice the, the choice of any other platform, um, providing direct market access to the majority of global markets across multiple currencies. Um, that's something which is, is great, providing that customers are able to actually research and use those. Um, we're very proud of our editorial and journalistic team who um, every day produce award-winning content and share views on offerings in the marketplace to help make those choices. 
There are two parts of that today which are highlights which were published recently. One is the, the um, SATA funds, which have been very successful, and secondly, the Super 60, which is part of that guidance frame to provide more informed choice and make it simpler for the end consumer. Um, in terms of price, uh, we are a very simple flat fee provider. That won't change. We'd expect to try and make that a little more um, aligned to individual customers' needs in the future. Today, it's a one-size-fits-all, irrespective of whether you trade a lot or not, so we'll try and adjust that as we go forward. Um, and of course, we do have a heavy investment in technology, and we've got a lot to do on the app. But today, it's 4.0 on the App Store. Um, it won the best dealing app in the UK in 2018. Not good enough yet. We're, we're focused very hard on making that something which is intuitive and engaging. It's not there yet. It will be in the next 12, 15 months. Last and by no means least, um, as a service business, um, we are committed to providing the best service in the sector. We're investing, um, have invested, continue to invest very hard in customer service. Trust Pilot today, um, I think it sits at 8.2 and is tracking positively. Um, I can only thank those of you who have provided feedback, whether it's positive or negative. Our job is to listen and to respond. We have several thousand responses which we watch every day, and we don't get everything right every time. Our job is to get it right and listen. I respond personally, and this is not an invitation, by the way. I do respond personally to most of our complaints. That's not a, it's not a suggestion. So um, our team is in front of this, and, and it matters. Tomorrow, um, we expect to um, invest more and more in making it easier and more intuitive to provide you with the choices so you can do what's right for you. People use expressions like robo, et cetera. We will provide progressively better tools in terms of guidance to support you in that process. The reality is as well is we have customers who are from between their 20s and their 80s, between vulnerable um, customers to those with no computers, to those who are very focused and trade a lot. We need to be able to personalize that service more to satisfy their needs. That include, for example, this year we'll expect to introduce a friends and family account so families can introduce their children or friends um, at, a, uh, at an improved price position. We expect to be able to provide real-time data to those that are um, trade more. Uh, we expect, in fact, we will in the next few months um, be replacing or, um, our security infrastructure so it's state of the market. And we'll continue to invest in those services so that um, we're able to be the best at what we do. Um, part of that is about listening and learning. So thank you all for um, your ongoing feedback. Um, I don't want to take any more time. It's, it's not about us. It's about the, the event tonight. Um, but I, what I would like to do, if I can, is hand over to Richard Hunter, our head of markets, who's going to provide you with a global perspective. Thank you very much, and enjoy the session.